to Jesus thing. Um, so we continue this night with our prayers tonight. Again, this is the eleventh day. Eleventh day. Um, 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 um. This is um, Deuteronomy, um, oh, this is the twelfth day, am I right? Today, what's today's date? 11th. 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 Okay, today is the 11th day. Yeah. Today is the eleventh day. Yeah. All right. Okay, we continue with the um, the, the leadership given to us by Moses in Deuteronomy, <clears throat> and that leadership is um, leads us to Asher. Asha is most blessed. Let's read um, Deuteronomy chapter 33 and uh, in verse 24. And of Asha, is, he said, Asha is most blessed of sons. Now, uh, does anybody have King James Version to read for us? Okay. Okay, for, for, this, for the purpose of uh, participation, if you have King James Version, just read for us. You know. I can do it on my phone here, but for the purpose of, there's a way it is in the, in the King James that it's not in the other translations. Yes, is anybody reading for us? Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 24. Deuteronomy 33, 24. And of Asha, I said. Oh, message translation. Okay, read message, but it's King James I really want. But are you reading King? Uh, yeah. Yes, King James. Yes. Okay. Mm, let Asha, yes, let Asha, yeah. Amen. Okay, can you do it um, one verse at a time? I mean, one uh, phrase at a time, uh, one uh, thought at a time. Good. Mm -hmm. Let Asha be blessed with children. Now, in the NIV or whatever it says, um, Asha is most blessed of sons. Uh, there are two different things. Let Asha be blessed with children. You know, we are <clears throat> going back a little bit to what we have been talking about relating to the blessings. Controlling forces of the earth, not man, is not the is not the policy of government. It is not the rate of dollar to the Naira. That is not the controller of human life. No. It is not the uh, Jakba syndrome. That is not, that is not the controller of uh, the human um, civilization per time. The controller is the heavens. The heavens rule. You know when they say the heavens rule, eh? they mean that the second heaven. They mean okay. Let's bring it like this. They mean that uh, there are unseen things because the unseen world rules over the physical world. 
Now, in the unseen world, there are three heavens. There's a first heaven which you see. There's a second heaven which is a place of power dominance. And there's a third heaven which is the habitation of God. Now, in this, it doesn't matter what God wants. Yeah? If the second heaven is not accepting what God wants, man is not going to have what God wants. That's the truth. Man is not going to have what God wants if the second heaven does not accept it. For example, we are going to give a message to Israel about their deliverance. But that was what the heavens of God said. That was the message through the, through the um, cherub to Daniel. But the second heaven, where power dominates, <clears throat> where power, uh, Brashadi, your, you need to mute. Thanks. <laughs> so that second heaven, if it does not allow it, if it does not allow the dominance of God, what we're going to see is that God is not going to rule. So what did we see in Daniel? We saw that the potentates, these ruling powers, who, who ruled over the region of the Chaldeans at that time, did not allow uh, the angel to go and deliver a message to Israel because Israel was under Persia. And, you know, so the, the, the prince of Persia refused to allow the message of God to come. So, and that has been what it has been from, for a long time. God wants to do something, but there are certain heavenly potentates that refuses to allow God wants to come down to the earth. So when you say thy kingdom come, what we're also saying is that Lord, remove these opposing forces of hell, the second heavens, so that it will be a clear road from the heaven of God, which is the third heaven, to the to the earth. So that is this is that which this is what um, the Lord wants to do. This is what the Lord wants to do in the nations. And now, so what is that thing that influences what happens among men? The thing that influences what happens among men is the second heavens. Now, in the physical universe, which is seen, there are arrangements of stars by time that helps to tell the nations, tell humanity what God wants to do by time. It's just like you can say, you know, um, this is our heaven that you see here. Space is also part of, our, of the heavens, uh, the first heavens. Space is part of it. You know, you can, and you can travel for a long time in our, in our first heaven. You, know, you can travel for billions of miles. <coughs> but the second heaven is not space. The second heaven, the second heaven is a spiritual heaven. Now, in the first heaven, which is this, our atmosphere and space, God puts the arrangement of stars there to indicate to mankind what is going to happen. Do you understand? Now, so what, this is what God does. God says, it is time for Jesus to come. This is what the heaven of God, where God sits on the throne. That was what they wanted at that time. All right? So what they did was that they put an arrangement of stars. I think they said Jupiter was a little bit, um, let's say this is Jupiter in my hand, and then you have, um, if, you know, you, okay, I'm, I'm describing to those who are on Zoom. Okay, let, let's say, okay, this is my phone. I don't even know that the talk was on. Um, you know, okay, I can get out of that This is my phone. This is my phone, this is Jupiter. Now, you have, now have Venus aligned to it in a way. So it has made the body of the stars big. Jupiter was supposed to be alone before, but now it became bigger because another star was aligned to it to show that this is the time for the Son of God to come. So when that star showed on the, in, the, in the heavens, people saw a big star, and it was the star of the king. Jupiter is the star of the kings. 
So now, what God does is this. Anytime God wants to do something in Nigeria, He puts a He puts an alignment of stars in the physical heaven to show those who are observing. This is what I'm doing. You understand? So you know, God we that's how God started dealing with mankind. Then He went into the by uh, He gave them the law and said, "Okay, leave that one because man now began to worship the stars, worship the sun." worshipping the creature more than the creator then from the law god gave them actually gave them the, he gave them the authority of the king he gave them the authority of priesthood and he gave them the authority of the prophets the, the word the, the will and the spirit the spirit comes upon the prophet of course all of them are by the spirit now that's what we saw in the first place where we read, I think the second day, where we saw, we're going to do more than 9.30 today, and I apologize for that because we started a little late because of network issues. So, in Judges in chapter 5, Deborah said, the kings were fighting in Tarnak by the waters of Medidu or something. He said, the stars fought the stars in heaven fought against Sisera. If you were seeing Israel fighting, you will see the clanging of sword. I say, ah, hey, hey, run away from that place. Yes, everybody come around it. You will see that is what the that was what determined the battle. That was not what determined the battle. You know what determined the battle? The stars in heaven. The alignment of stars which demonstrated the speakings of God. You understand? Yeah. So that's that's what determines who what happens on the earth, whether people whether something will be or will not be. All right. So so these stars, eh? There are twelve. Uh, there are twelve deliverables that they give per season. Those twelve deliverables are called the horoscopes. You understand? Which which the Jews called Mazaroth. You understand? The Mazaroth are the alignment of the stars of God in heaven. <coughs> they are the alignment of the stars of God in heaven to tell mankind, this is what I want for now. You understand? Now, when man fell, it became yes and nay. You understand? But in Christ, all the promise of God are what? In him, yea and yea. There is no nay in him. <coughs> in other words, God is not going to say you are going to be destroyed this year. <coughs> God is not going to say you are going to be destroyed and all that. But but we can see the alignment of what is going to happen because of the wickedness of man. We can see it in the heavens. Now, so what God wants for His people, God now did it this way. You see, those alignment of stars that 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 give delivery boots twelve times. Those 12 times are the times that we call the year. Now, this is, so God now named the name of the sons of Jacob by the names of those stars. All those stars you see, Gemini, you see two uh, twins drawing a sword, the bow and an arrow, Simeon and Levi. You see Leo, um, what is his name? Judah. You see Ruben, <coughs> Aquarius, the, the water. You will see Dweller by the sea, the crab. You understand? You will see all of them. The, the names of the children of, of Jacob were named after the stars. So that tells you that when Jesus, when God told Abraham, your, your sons shall be at the stars, it did not just mean number, because it meant number. But it also mean that meant that there's going to be the dominant force that will determine what happened on the earth. So when they now became a nation, before they became a nation, God now blessed them. He now said, when the stars in the physical are giving the first delivery, this is what is going to happen. Let Reuben live and not die. Let not his men be few. That is what you are going to see. You are not going to die. 
you are going to be your men are not going to be free and neither are they, are they going to be free you understand so when they are when the second month comes for the arrangement of stars to give the second delivery god says hear O lord the voice of judah bring him to his own people be, 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 uh, let his hands be sufficient for him and be thou and help to him against his adversary. That's what you are going to see. So, when he gets to <clears throat> uh, Levi and all that, he began to decree. Every one of those decrees were good decrees. That's why you see Israel had to be blessed twice because the first time he gave opportunity for Israel to be blessed. Jacob, their father, <clears throat> did not understand. He allowed his desire, I mean, he allowed his angst against his children, against his sons, to affect the blessings. But he didn't know that the people he was blessing was beyond that son. And that's what we do a lot of times. When our children do anything against us, we forgot that there are, there's a grandson inside that boy, there's a great grandchild inside that girl, there's a great great grandchild inside that girl. You know, and all that. You are not speaking to a man. You are speaking to generations. So Jacob allowed his hands against Reuben to say, Reuben! <clears throat> but when you see Reuben, you will love him. Reuben was a very, was a man's man. Beautiful, strong, tall, but showed that whatever he can give, a college you can give to a, a handsome man. Say so the excellency of dignity and the excellency of strength. Say so that you shall not excel. Why did he say will not excel? Because of certain things that he did against you. So his men began to be few because how you excelled in those days was that you 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 have more people. You see that? So what now happened? By the time Moses now came, Moses now said. Let Uber live and not die. Because men, the Ubers were, were dying. You understand? The danger of horoscope is that they tell you good and evil. The, the, the blessedness of blessing by the tribe is that it is good, not evil. Did you get that? So that's why we are delivering this deliverance upon our lives, upon our children in this year. We are looking ahead and we are saying, all that the heavens of God opens up to is what we're going to see. Let's quickly see Judges chapter 5, then we'll go ahead and pray to it. Judges in chapter 5. My auntie, my wife's aunt that passed on recently uh, was making fun of us. She said, You name your children JJJ. He said, The first one is Joel. The second one, uh, okay, my son's back. Joel, Joshua, and John. You say, ah, you, you still have judges now. <laughs> say, you still have judges. <laughs> Praise God. Now, um, it's a very yeah, funny woman. Yeah, okay. Judges chapter 5. Let us read <clears throat> verse 18. Zebulon is a people who jeopardized life to the point of death. Sorry, something is cracking me. Okay. Dickness, are you, is your, are you not muted? It's in Naphtali also, in the heights of the battlefield. I'm reading Judges 5.18. I'm on 19 now. So the kings came and fought. Then the kings of Canaan fought in Taranak by the waters of Megiddo. They took no spoils of silver. You know, these are assassins. When somebody comes to fight and they come to kill and they are not going to take any spoil. They are not interested in spoils. They are not interested in um, uh, whether you have dollars in your house or you have pound or yen. No. It says, it says, they took no spoils of silver. They fought from the heavens. Did you see? They, how do you fight from the heavens? They fought from the heavens. See, the stars from their courses fought against Caesar. The stars from their courses fought against Caesar. So what now happened? The torrent of Kishon swept them away. That ancient torrent, the torrent of Kishon, 
oh my soul, march on in strength. You see, because of what had been done against them in the heavens, they were, they were seeing certain things in the, in the physical. So in other words, you know what we are doing? The, the people that own the earth, you know, that own the, this world, not the, God owns the earth, that own this world, this present, present arrangement, every year like that, every time they look into the stars, those who are old enough, <clears throat> uh, aunties and mummies, will know that there was a time when Ronald Reagan, the wife, was accused of looking into balls in the, in the White House. Can you, can you witness to that? How many people heard about that in those days? I don't know. So, did anybody, can anybody witness that? Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so, she was looking into this. Into the, uh, yeah, okay. Sorry, let me see. Saying yes. I hope Sister, uh, my wife too was saying, is saying yes. And if Sister Party were here, I'm sure she would agree with me about that. Yeah. Now, so, so the stars, so what they do, they look into the stars, what will happen? What they are looking at is the force that will take a hold upon the earth. But you see, what we are doing tonight is even higher than that one. We should do that one also, not the looking into the ball. You know, we should find out what's going to happen to the nations, in the nations. But apart from that, this is even a better one in that we are, we are, we are finding out again and establishing the reign of heaven upon the earth concerning us. What God had already spoken in the eternal long, long, longest ages ago, we are decreeing it. We know that when it is January, you know, <clears throat> and let me tell you this, I was sharing it yesterday, I said, oh, wow, it's already 9.31, we're going to overshoot tonight, like I said. They said, um, you, know, what, you know what they named January after? The January was named after the God Janus. This Sunday was named after the sun. Monday was named after the moon. Tuesday was named after the god tree. Wednesday was named after the god wedding. I remember the book we read in uh, my form three in, when I was in the bathroom. But like the schools back in those days. And then it, you know, there was a part of it that where we read that. And not all of it, but just one of the days of the week, wedding or something. You know, so that stuck to my mind. And then you have Frigid or something, one of the Swedish gods on uh, Friday. And then you have the day dedicated to Saturn, which is Satan, which is named after the planet Saturn. But God says the first day, the name of God, the name that God gave them, the first day of the week, the second day of the week, the third day of the week, the fourth day of the week, the fifth day of the week, the sixth day of the week, and then Shabbat, the seventh day of the week. That's the name of God that gave them. Man made devices so that satanic evil can happen to man's life. So it is the day of the sun, the day of the moon. Okay, so let's go ahead and make it peace. Let's go back to our Deuteronomy chapter 33 and we'll be Queen Asha. Now, because we did not allow, I did not, be, I was not led by Genesis 49 in this, this year. So we're doing Asha and then there's still another tribe after Asha. But Asha is supposed to actually be the one that will finish it. You know, uh, Deuteronomy did not arrange them in the order of birth. Asha is supposed to not be, Benjamin is supposed to be what? The, um, the last born. But Asha is the last, you know, um, uh, in, in Deuteronomy 33. Um, Simeon was supposed to be the second born. But in Deuteronomy 33, it was Judah that they put them. So he did not arrange them according to the order of birth. Moses did not read them up with the that. So let's look at Asha. Let's look at what is happening to us <clears throat> in November and throughout all the days of the year 2024. You put your name there. This is what is written in heaven for you. In the heavens. The stars are aligned for this. The stars, eh? They are aligned for this. So you are decreeing what the stars of God are aligned for you. Asha is blessed. Um, Sister Bimpe, oh, Felicity, one of you were trying to read. Yeah, can you read it again? I'll repeat it. Yes? Good, good. Let Asha be blessed with children. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree you are blessed with children. Can you begin to decree concerning yourself? I am blessed with children. You are Asha. You are blessed. See, being blessed with children here does not mean that you are um 
you have many children alone. Yes, it's part of it. Hmm? But with anything, a father is called source. Abba. Then anything that comes forth from you, these are the children, the, 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 the thing that stem out from you, including your physical children. So anybody that is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, you will have it. Let's go ahead and make the cruise. I am Asha. He said, let Asha be blessed with children in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you go ahead and make decrees? Go ahead and make decrees. Go ahead and make decrees in the name of Jesus. Let Asha be blessed with children. Now, if you already have children enough for you, decree concerning another person in the name of Jesus Christ. If you already have children, if that person already has children enough for them, after you have finished decreeing or, you know, you have finished decreeing for that person, and then you can decree and you say, the things that come out of me in the name of Jesus, would permeate the earth like Honda. Honda, Honda is a Honda was say was a man that lived on the earth. You know, it was only this, I think what second second world when I started producing his vehicles and you know, if, I, if my history is correct, you know. But today we don't know the, the biological children of Honda, but we know the, the, the vehicle children of Honda in the name of Jesus. The things that proceed from you. A lot of um Taiwa Kikumi. I think it was the one that 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 uh, did our national pledge or the national anthem. One of them, you know. But we we don't we may not know their children, but we can see the work of their hands. Go ahead and decree. You are blessed with children in the name, biological children. My children are blessed with children. In the, I decree for uh, my sisters in the name of Jesus Christ and my brothers on this platform that are looking for children in the name that are waiting for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, that they have them. Yeah. See, they are Asha. Let Asha be blessed with children. I decree concerning them, as I mentioned, in the name of Jesus. Yes, I decree concerning him. Yes, in the name of Jesus. He has children. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree concerning her. Yes, blessed with children. In the name of And decree concerning her. Blessed with children. Those who are not yet married, you are blessed with children because the marriage is going to come. The man is coming. You are blessed with children. You say, let Asha. Put your name there. Let daily matches be blessed with children. Those who have children already, what the, the children you have will not be taken away from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. No death will take them away from you. No sickness will take them away from you. No kidnapper will take them away from you. Whatever it takes for you to overcome the enemy concerning your children, you will overcome. I've raised children. <laughs> it's God that, raised, that helped me to raise children. Hmm. We have seen situations in our lives with our children when we don't say God over to you and then God took control. Lord, you will take control over all the parents, all the children, uh, and um, those who are with young on this platform. Whether they are young, uh, in their 30s or their 40s, or their 20s, or their teenage years, or whichever area they are, in the name of whichever age they may be of, in the name of Jesus Christ, your children are blessed with life. In the name of he said, Let Asha be blessed with children. Yes, in the name of Jesus. You are blessed with children. Yes, those who are trusting for marriage, they will marry this year in the name of Jesus Christ. And they will conceive in the name of Jesus Christ. Na Ike no susto de nishtikala inge ne untu sositega. Na ush together in kutu sositega. That's the least that can happen, that they will conceive in the name of Jesus Christ. Ne hikapa papa Africa to give birth in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. It can happen if it happens next week, if it happens next month. Yes, but it must happen this year. That's their marriage, so, you know, and then they will at least conceive. If even if the times, I mean, the, the, the many months of the year may not be enough for, for deliveries in the name of Jesus, but at least they will conceive because it says, Let Asha be blessed with children. Yes, you are blessed with children. Daily Matthews is blessed with children. I am blessed with children. The work of my hands also, they go forth to declare the praise of God concerning me in the name of Jesus. Let Asha be blessed with children. Let Asha be blessed with children. You are blessed with children. Put your name there. In the, I don't want to uh, to mention the names of people, but I know that they are mentioning their own names by themselves. Let Asha be blessed with children. You are blessed with children. The ones who have children, your children will they will live in the name of Jesus. Ah, they will live. They will live. They will live in the name of Jesus. Amen. He says yes. Sister Binkwe, the next one. Oh wow, let him be acceptable to his brethren. You know, you know what it is that make you acceptable to your brethren? Love. 
when you have inst the instrumentality of the expression of your love. You understand? He has, Asha has brethren. He said, let him be acceptable to his brethren. You understand? Now, what makes you acceptable to your brethren is that you have what it takes to show love to them. You know, sometimes you may love people, I love you, I love you. You cannot bite them and cut their skin and be eating it. You know, you, it's loving, it's by for God so Lord that he gave this year, I have that which it takes in the name of Jesus Christ to show love, to express love in the name of Jesus. Yes, I am acceptable to my brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, even beyond that, accept, acceptability to the brethren is a, is a spiritual thing. You are acceptable to your brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, you are acceptable to your brethren. You are acceptable to your brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. You are acceptable not just to the sons of your mother and daughters of your mother. You are you are acceptable to your spiritual brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. They love you. You know, you know that first one that I said. You know, you know one of the one of the. The, the secrets of David. Why, why they came together to make David king? Can I, tell, can I show you one of them? When David was in the camp of the Philistines, he would go and kill a village of Philistines. That's why God said, your blood is in your hand. You can't build my house. It was not because of the battles of the Lord. It was not because of those things that David did. No. Now, he would go and destroy them, and then he would go and carry all, he would take all of their booties. Booty then means the things you take from war. It's no longer what they call it today. It has been changed. A lot of words have been changed in our dictionary today or the use of languages of words now it, it means you know spoils of war now and he will now distribute it to the elders of judah they will just ah david gave gifts david gave it why would they not make him king <laughs> why would they not make him king of course you know it's more than that god had already anointed him before but you now did something about it you will be acceptable to your brethren in the name of jesus christ you will be acceptable to your brethren in the name of jesus christ so shall it be I remember many years ago, Bishop Oedeko said, "You will, you know." They, they, they said Bishop Oedeko used to give um, uh, back then, I think 1992, 1993. I heard this story. I was in Kaduna. I was serving in one of his churches, a living faith church in Soko, uh, rather in Sokoto, you know. And then he said, the, the, one of the, uh, the pastor there, Pastor Larawaju, said that when they have their convention in those days, there were not too many back in those days. When they had their convention, all the pastors' wives, they will, will tell them to, they will sit and line up to come and greet Papa. How old was Papa? They were 30 something, you know. And then he will be giving them money from his pocket. He will be giving them, he was he arranged like that, so will be, you know, you understand. Let Asha be, is acceptable to his brethren. You are gifted to be acceptable to your brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not only money, but in the areas you will have strength. You know, there are some children. When I was leaving my pastors, my my pastor in um, in Sokoto, I came to I went to serve with them. When they were doing sent for the, the pastor's wife was crying. Mommy was crying. Why? She said, Ah, brother Dilly, wow, you have been so excellent. I didn't give them money. Maybe I paid my tithe into the church offering, but I didn't give them money. But if I saw mommy moving around. I mean, with a bucket, I took it from her. I was trained that way. I was brought up that way. You know, well, for me, it was not anything, but although I went out of my way sometimes. What You know, some people don't have certain wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever it takes for you to be acceptable to your brethren, you will have it in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will do it in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, and when you flow like that, the favor follows you. I have had people... I have had friends talking about a particular man, but that man is so rash, that man is so brash, that man talks anyhow. I'm telling you the truth. That those men have never, have, they have never spoken brashly to me. I can't remember any man, any senior man was speaking brashly. And they used to tell me of their fame. Yeah. That they used to so there's some things that come to you, they become your own by reason of practice. You are acceptable to your brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. I have had people who say, Oh. No. You, you know, so, so you are acceptable to your brethren by the reason of what you do, by the reason of the unction of God upon your life, you are acceptable to your brethren, you are acceptable to your brethren, you are acceptable to your brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, I like my translation here, he said, let him be favored by his brothers. You are favored by your brothers. You are favored by your brothers. Those who are, uh, 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 those who are on, people don't find it easy, easy to love. They love, I mean, to, to, to get their attention, they will love you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So shall it be. 
in the name of Jesus. In, in fact, the scripture says, The rich shall entreat your favor in the name of Jesus, even the high and the lofty, because you will need them to get for them to open doors in the name of Jesus. You are acceptable to your brethren, you are acceptable to your brethren, you are acceptable to your brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. You are acceptable to your brethren. 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 In 2024, you are acceptable to your brethren. In the name of Jesus. He said, let him dip his foot in oil. You know what that means? Hey, Babala blessing. You know what that means? To dip your foot in oil. It means it will be easy wherever you go. It will be easy with you wherever you go. That, that's what it means. I decree in the name of Jesus. It will be easy with you wherever you go. Eh? When, when you say wherever you go, it doesn't just mean walking around the area, you go to the junction. Uh, of course, yeah, in, in the basic way, it means that, you see, but wherever you go means whatever you do, whatever you put your foot upon to do, your feet is, is, is dipped in oil in the name of Jesus. I say your feet is dipped in oil. In the, your, your feet is dipped in oil in the name of Jesus. Your feet is dipped in oil. In the, he said, and let him dip his foot in oil. Ah! When, they can't catch you. There's a footballer. I used to call Oloro because the guy would just, he would just, he, would, he used to put um, uh, a lot of cream on his body. His body would be shiny. Is he playing? Is he playing, is he playing in Premier League till now? His body will shine. My children would say, oh, because he can speed, and they used to try to hold him. So he used to put a lot of cream on his body. So as they want to hold him, vroom, you see, we just, we just. He will just drop from there. You know, they, they, their grip will, will loosen out, will drop. Why? Because he has a lot of oil. So when you dip your foot in oil, no Satan can hold you. They can't hold your business. Mm -hmm. they, can't, they can't hold your business. They can't hold your family. They cannot hold you. They can't hold your life. They cannot, because your foot is dipped in oil. You say, wherever you step, the sole of your foot is your own. But there are some people who want to step, step the sole of your foot, and somebody wants to hold. I say, no! But in the name of Jesus, the scripture says, you dip your foot in oil. So anyway, you are dipping oil. You are dripping with oil. You are, because you have dipped your foot in oil. You are dripping with oil. So when they want to hold you to put you in one place, they cannot. Because your foot will just, prum, prum, it will just, you know, they will lose the grip. They cannot take a firm grip of you. So you dip your foot in oil in 2024, November 2024, and all through the months of 2024. This is the word of the Lord concerning you. This is the word of the Lord concerning you. In the name of Jesus. And he says, your sandals are... I love this guy's blessing. You see, this guy's blessing and that of Naphtali. Oh, Naphtali. You know, we talked about Naphtali yesterday. Naphtali was beautiful. Oh, Naphtali, he said. Satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord. Possess thou the west and the south. Okay, but we're doing Asha today. He said... See what see what he now says concerning uh, Asha. He said, "Your sandals shall be iron and bronze." You know, it, it still means what you want to do, whatever you want to do in life, what you want to do. In, you know, it's, you know, your conversation, your your projects, your destiny, your ministry, your uh, your vocation. That's what he means by choose here. Uh -huh. You know, when you are working. Um, in the bush you know you need that kind of shoe the world is a bush you know from the tons from the tons of the earth and from the tissues of the earth they prevent your food from from being from being from being uh, 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 stuck in them you know but this is not just about the practical shoe yes it will work for you if that's what you need for that time but he's talking about losing business losing business losing uh, in professions losing in the places where God has ordained for one to be. He says, once you put your foot there, he says, you will crush everything there. You know, you know when you crush, you dominate. It's be, your feet shall be iron, I mean iron, and what? Iron and bronze. Yeah. There is no shuku shuku that can shook anybody's feet when you are wearing iron and bronze. In the name of Jesus, I decree it concerning you. I decree, this is what your year, this is what your year 2024 speaks concerning you. In the name of Jesus. This is what your year 2024 speaks concerning you. In the name of Jesus. This is what your year 2024 speaks concerning you. I decree it so. So shall it be. I decree it so. So shall it be. I decree it so. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father Lord. You are you are Asha. He says, he says, and as your days are, so shall your strength be. Kai, powerful promises for me here, for you here. As my days are, so shall my strength be. As my days are, so shall my strength be. Let me do, let me give you one gist as we close. Uh, um, uh, who was that person? Okay, it was Braulubi. When we were in Braulubi was our pastor, our pastor's pastor, and also our pastor. We used to attend church at, S at SPCC. When I see Braulubi today, I know his hair is, will be all white. You understand? But because he, he, from a young man, he had always had his uh, uh, hair like, uh, you know, shaven. Clean, he had always clean shaven. No hair anywhere on his face. You know, so. Um, so when I saw him last, I was watching, when, when, I'm talking about 1988, I started attending his meetings in 1988, in now he said he went to do some checkup at London and all that, he said the doctor, the doctor, he an Iranian or something, he said the doctor said you're, you, you are like a, you are so, you are so healthy, that your, the, the state of your health is like a 40 year old or maybe 25 year old or something. You know, it's also, he's in his 60s now. Probably should be in his 60s now. In the very early 60s. <clears throat> now, and he's still moving around. He's still, you know, he's not too different from the Bralubi that we knew. Now, I'm, I'm explaining something here. Now, now, look at Caleb. Caleb looked old, normal. He looked as if he was old. But God stopped his age. You know, God can stop the age. You know, you know there are ages of your organs. You know, there are hearts that are so so years old. There are people that are forty years old. Though their hearts are seventy year old hearts. There's a there's a science like that. Yeah, it's valid. It's medical. You know. So you know there are people that are you know I have to have, at least I have a doctor here that can confirm that. Now, now, so Brownlee said. He said he was several years younger in his internal you know, organs, you know. And then Caleb said to Moses, give me this mountain. I am, for as I was, when I and you believed God, when they were 40 years old, when they just came out of, of, uh, of uh, Egypt, so I am, so is my strength now. I can still climb mountains and not just, you know when you are going to take a land that is built upon a mountain, you know they have an advantage. They, they just, they just, all they need to do is just to be rolling stones on you. They roll stones on you. They roll stones down. You want to climb. You have to climb first before you can now get to their land and to conquer them. Say, give me this mountain. In the name of Jesus, can you decree concerning yourself? As my days are, so shall my strength. In the name of Jesus. You know what that means? It means that you will be getting stronger as you age, as you, as you, as you mark calendars. You will be getting stronger. Can you speak to your body? Speak to your heart. I speak to my heart. As my days are, so shall my strength be. That I'll be stronger. If I'm 40, I'll be 40. You know, the, you know, it's increasing. It's not the decreasing part type now. You know, it's increasing. When I'm 40, I'm 40. You know, when I'm 80, you know, I'm not, I don't grow weaker. I, I am hyper. I am times two of the 40. It's not in the weakness part, but in the strength part. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that as my days are, so shall my strength be. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree as my days are, so shall my strength be. In 2024, as my days are, so shall my strength be. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have decreed. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Lord, you know that we don't have any other person. Please, can you dilute this? Which should be for me. Oh, that is one of them. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Heavenly Father, pray your communion. Let's bring our communion materials. Now, I'm praying on them now. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, you know we don't have any other person. There's no other God we can run to. There's no other God we can run to. We don't have any potentate anywhere that we trust in. Sometimes we make mistakes with trust in men. But we know that ultimately you are our trust. 
They are washed and our broken. We have come to you these 11 days concerning that which will befall us in the year 2024. All we can see in your book are ye and amen. All we can see are good and God. All we can see are health, prosperity, blessings, favor. All we can see is holiness, the goodness of God, the grace of God all around. That's all we can see. Heavenly Father, we have decreed your word again tonight concerning the blessing of Asha. We are satisfied with children in the name of Jesus. Every moment of 2024, every second of 2024, every minute of 2024, every hour of 2024, every 12 hour day, 12 hour night of 2024, every 24 hour day of 2024, every week of 2024, every month within this year, 2024, January to December, Uluwa, our lives are in your hands, our families are in your hands, husbands, wives, children, lovers, brothers, sisters, loved ones, people who dwell under our tabernacle, spiritual sons, my partners, those who give to us, our church members, close friends, all our lives are in your hands, those who pray on this platform, all our lives are in your hands, we have made the Christ tonight. So all the year, throughout all the year 2024, we decree we are blessed with children in the name of Jesus. We are acceptable to our brethren. Those who have children, their children will live in Jesus' name. Those who do not have, they will have in Jesus' name. Those who have not yet even been married, they will marry. The least they will do is to conceive of children in the name of Jesus. Those who have been married and trusting God for the fruit of the womb, they will have theirs in the name of Jesus. He says, <clears throat> concerning us, uh, that is concerning the blessing of Asha over us. It says we are accepted to our brother. Say we are we dip our foot in oil. Ah, we dip our foot in oil. It will be easy with us. In all our projects, in all our vocations, in all of our um, all that you have given to us, businesses, ministries, adventures, projects, offices, professions, it shall be easy with us in Jesus' name. We dip our foot in oil. It means it is with ease. We move into breakthroughs. We move into blessings in Jesus' name. Also, we wear the shoes of iron and of brass. We are not going to lose anything. Nothing will be missing or broken. We will not be hurt by any venture, adventure, vocation in the name of Jesus. You know, in those days, the, when the Yoruba parents want to pray for you, when you start to work, they say, Oh, call about me, shower, let's say. When you are wearing all your shoes, that means the, the implement of the, the implement of the government, which you are using to, to, to cultivate the government farm. That's what it means, literally. That it will not hurt your feet. When you are wearing iron and brass, it can't happen. So I decree social be in Jesus' name. What was the last blessing of uh, Asha? He says, as your days are, so shall your strength be. So it is in Jesus' name. He will renew our youth as the eagles. Our hearts are renewed. The blood vessels carrying blood in us, in our body, they are renewed. Our livers are renewed. Our kidneys are renewed. Every vital organ in our body are renewed. Our bones are renewed. Bone marrows are renewed. In Jesus' name. Lord, we say, bless this bread, biscuits, wafers, whatever we have brought before you tonight. Bless it and make it as the body of Jesus to us. We don't have anybody else we are going to. Thank God for medical science and the blessing we have. 
understanding you are giving to get close. But Lord, ultimately, our health springs up from you. You say our health has springs up at the morning. Lord, none of us shall need to pay extra, extra for our health in this year. We will receive health and healing for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. We bless this and we say in the covenant all these blessings subsist in Jesus' name. Yes, can you take it? Yes. You can partake of the bread now. Lord, we bring the blood before you. Whatever drink we have there, Lord, accept it as the blood of Jesus and make it so for us. We partake of the covenant by the blood. Mercy for us. Mercy for us. Goodness for us. Mercy for us. All of these things that we have declared today in the blood. You are the controller of life, oh Lord. We can't control anything. We don't know Jack. We can't control Jack. We don't know anything about it. But we know you. Because we know that because we live, we face tomorrow. Gallantly, we win by the blood and the covenant. Jesus name. Now, partake of that also. In Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. <coughs> we are blessed beyond the cost in Jesus' name. Tomorrow again, we meet for the last uh, night of blessing. God bless you, everyone. Lovely night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.